Hello everyone, you're welcome to a new video. It's my first time doing a voiceover and I'm so excited. I've missed everyone, but no one checked on me, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing a voiceover this time because I lost the audio to this video, not just this clip, but a couple of clips after this. And obviously, I'm unboxing my new baby well by this time it's no longer new but still my baby <laughs> but i'm unboxing my air fryer it's the ninja two-in-one air fryer i can't remember how many liters it is but it's the family size one and i'm so excited because i wanted it for a long time so yeah this is me just taking off all the wrappings and i was also trying to make a short for youtube of unboxing the air fryer and you can see my <laughs> videographer in the background trying to help with that um i'm enjoying it to be very honest obviously it's healthy all of that good stuff about air fryers i had an air fryer before this but what happened i think it, it was bad and obviously it's difficult to fix stuff here this is a set of i think 100 disposable air fryer liners to line the air fryer obviously so i don't have to wash it all the time so all the drippings from my meat turkey whatever i'm putting in the air fryer all the drippings stay in this and it's disposable so it makes it really easy to manage because it means i don't have to wash all the time and I was just testing it out because it's not made by Ninja. I can't remember where I got it from, probably Amazon or something. So I was just testing it out. And this is me now trying to find a tea, coffee, sugar set of canisters to fit in my tea, coffee, sugar station, or rather in my coffee station that actually looks nice and suits the aesthetics of that corner so to speak and i got this one i just wanted something simple but looked nice and everything i was seeing was looking very dramatic so to speak but it didn't fit i ordered just this set of two and i measured it this way seeing if i got a third one if it was going to fit and it was obviously not going to so i had to return them i was a bit disappointed to be honest but i've gotten one now and i'm happy with it yeah why am i so excited um oh yeah i got a steamer i don't like to iron my clothes i think that was what i was saying here i'm not a very big fan of ironing clothes um if my clothes need to be ironed my husband usually does that for me so I got a steamer hoping that that was going to encourage me. I got one that had a couple of extra functions. Obviously, it's the Russell Hobbs one. Has a couple of extra functions like I think this one in particular. I chose it because it's supposed to have a function that I can't remember what it's supposed to be. But basically like a fragrance accessory thing where you can put in a fragrance and then steam your clothes and it just steams the fragrance into your clothes i'm seeing this it's been months since i made this clip i've had that steamer for in the very least three months and i've never touched it i mean the last time i touched it was me making this video first and last time i haven't touched it i can't be bothered those people that take ironing their clothes seriously kudos to you I try not to buy clothes that require ironing because I can't be bothered. I'm tired. I'm busy enough with everything else I'm doing anyway. So, yeah. Um, this is me just showing all the accessories that came with it. I didn't understand more than half what they were. Problem is even the manual that came with it. Before the end of this day, my madam it so as in literally ripped it in half horizontally so if i need to read anything on a whole page i'm going to need to put two halves together 
I just abandoned projects at that point. I also ordered stuff from the body shop. At this point, you know why I usually order from the body shop. This, I think, is the sheer hand cream, if I'm not too wrong. And then I ordered the almond milk body yogurt for my husband, as usual. And the almond milk body butter. I prefer the body butter because I think it's thicker and more moisturizing. And I also ordered stuff from Harrods. This is me unboxing what I got from Harrods. This, honestly, I'm trying to think how many months down the line. Up until this moment, I think it's my best buy of the year. This perfume gives me so much joy. It's not a brand that I would have known of if I wasn't following a particular lady on Instagram. What's her name? It's not Curly Scent. I can't remember her name. It's only Haley. I think that's her name. And she kept talking about Acrobic. Acrobic. And I kept thinking, what is Acrobic? But then I trusted her judgment enough to blind buy this fragrance. Best buy of the year. I'm saying that once again. Absolute best. I love it so much. Even the bottle and the packaging just looks very simple and classy. But this fragrance. This fragrance. <sighs> There's no way to explain it. Is You have to smell it. So we're not obvious. We're obvious from the name Acro Bake. So the brand is Acro, and this particular one is Bake. So there's Acro Bake, there's Acro Juice, there's Acro Rain, I think, or Shine, something like that. But the one she hyped the most was Acro Bake. It's a gourmand fragrance. Smells like a very delicious lemon drizzle cake. I smelt it, and oh. <sighs> Amazing. As in it hit me. Even now I can smell it. Ah, but I'm not smelling it, but I'm thinking about the smell and it's just putting a very big smile on my face. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm trying to say well it reminds me of I think it reminds me of Casamorati Lira, because that's also a lemon cake-ish gourmand but well, it's really nice I'm almost caught away through the bottle and this is just me showing how I, where I ended up putting my baby my air fryer just in one corner and here we are a few days later with a surprise it was still a bit cold so I had to back my madam but well, yeah our surprise arrived a few minutes later and it's my mommy my mommy i mean i can't i can't imagine how to explain how excited i was and can you see how she just completely ignored me and just carried her baby me i was there running and screaming my mommy my mommy she completely ignored me abandoned me and the, as if I wasn't already backing the child, she took her from me and backed her because my own backing was bad. Maybe it was smelly or it was just rotten. So her own backing is better for her baby. But anyway, I was so excited to see her because it had been a few months since she left. So, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm just all over the place now. She was saying I should cover her baby because it's cold. The whole place looks very... Uh, this is not focusing focus, yeah. It looks very chaotic, at least to me, because obviously we have so many things from Nigeria. Next cafe three and one. This way is this coffee. My sister told me about it, and I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa we Told you. Now I'm in love. I, I take it to work every day. This thing, I love it. But yeah, there's loads of stuff, and I'm struggling to find where to put it. Milk, milk, milk. Milo, milo, milo. I think we should use this bucket.
I'm so obsessed with arranging. I feel like I need to arrange everything now. If not, I can start crying. And it's my mother that taught me, but now she's the one judging me. When we're growing up, she'll say, even if you are cooking for the whole Nigeria, when anybody walks into your kitchen I at any point in time, they should not even know that you are even cooking at all. Not to talk of even cooking for one person. But now she judges me because she thinks I do too much. Please let me know if you can relate. Pa, what few beans? Pa, we have a good. Pa, we have got a magellan. Pa, we have a good. 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 Pa, we have Start one, no. Start one. Kilo feel. Kilo feel. I can't laugh, baby. You might be able So now, how am I expected to lose weight? My mom is here, and my mom is a mom. You know those moms that wake up even at my age, she can wake up and bring. Me, I don't even know she doesn't do it to me. This is the way she takes care of my sister. She don't wake up. Oh, Febby, it was that one. I say, No, mommy, I told you I don't want this. And she'll take it back. Me, I will eat it and collect it with so much thanks and gratitude that I, before I say no, and she'd knock my head. This one will say, No, mommy, I told you I don't like it. I say, Hey, man, be no bad. This is the person that's about to enjoy the most. She and my baby, me, I'm just enjoying the fact that I have time to myself. Me and my husband. Me and my, I would have said me and my sister, but when she sees her mother, like, they forget them sometimes. And now there's, I have to share with my baby and my mother. It's not the same. Things are not the same. So, yeah, that's it. Guys, if you ever come across this thing. I've never tried this one. I think I'll try this one and give you try my thoughts. It. But the yeah. other one, where is this? That blue one, this one. I take it to work every single day. I have to stop drinking because I don't know how many calories. I don't know how it's not that they didn't write it, but I don't have the mind to check. It's there. I'm about to look at it. Most of shit. 140 calories. Meanwhile, when I drink it, once it cools down and I break it, just go, one go, 140 calories. It's not my mama to go there. But anyway, what I'm trying to do now is arrange because obviously there's loads of stuff now. I don't have that much space when it comes to plenty of stuff. So. I'm trying to fill jars that are empty and do things like that to create space for the things that are really good. Let me get back to work. Let's do the top ones. They are the ones from okay, three, four, three, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, Of milk, or, you know. Of milk, yeah, those things. Yeah. Okay. All the this desiccated coconut, now that we found coconut flakes, me, I'm throwing it away. Morning. Oh, I use it for my tapioca. Use it for tapioca and like you got. So you want Money. to throw it away? Why? Not this one. Side guy, desiccated. You put the number to my ticket. Yeah, morning. I want to go back home. You want to go back home? Oh, I did. Why? Why the mouth is so tough? Yeah, I don't mind though. Uh, I want to make that I got not drink. I got not milk. Milk, milk, milk. And I got not time. What do you want to use it for? What your man does? What run now? What man do? Mm. What do you want to use it for? Me, I don't know anything about stuff. Mm. How much do you want? Yeah, do you want to do it? I want to do it. Monyo, Monyo, Monyo. My mom always brings, and I'm sure it's not just my mom. So many things I get asked her to bring, she just brings just because she brought crayfish. Did she just bring? Yes, yeah, she just brought this ground crayfish. This is whole, and this is crayfish I had at home before. So yeah, this is dried prawns. Yeah, dried prawns. She brought a whole bag. Yeah, that bag. I stopped using red powdered pepper because I don't really like how it tastes in food anymore. I used to be obsessed with this one. This one is hotter than usual. I used to be obsessed with it. 
But I think after I got pregnant, I stopped liking her. Yeah, it's true, it was pregnancy that made me stop liking her. Thank you. So I stopped eating it. And I, I think I started to buy it. I had this one from her last trip. And now she brought this massive bag. I don't know what to do with it. But then I have many friends that will be appreciating it. So I'll see if I can afford to give anyone. This is more creative. So I use this for like condiments, pepper, crayfish, egg or this is my egg bag is a bit big. But yeah, egg Last time she came, I asked her to bring dry egg goosey. Where is it? So, the one that I still received from. Is there any other black line on that place? I had egg goosey. Yeah. So in the raw. I've been dry since for. I say I have some. I like to manage it just in case she's not able to because the way Nigeria is going, we don't know. So I like to manage it just in case she's not able to bring any more. We are not running out completely. But she has brought more now so I can cook it and see how I like. This is still dried corn, but she has brought more. And I'm glad because this dried corn, what I want to start doing, I want to start grinding the head into powdered form because apparently it's very good for seasoning your soups. And I don't like eating the egg, I remove it when I'm cooking anyway. So now I'll just gather it and grind it. So it will be like grinded crayfish. The seasoned soups and native skin. This I think is just a pack of like Cameroon pepper and pepper soup spice. I've had this for ages. And I've been managing it. I think it's more even before I got married that she brought this to me. This is more dried corns. So, get ready for recipes involving soups and steaks. Mommy, are you sure this thing will not be better to put it back in the oven or air fryer? Because, because it's defrosted, there's no moisture in it. And it's the same. Okay. okay. This is just my skewers for meat. Yeah, I already kept one thing. My diary is in there. Was that not in the So that's done. There's still space behind this basket, so I think what I'll do, I'll put this in the air fryer. Because I've gone to my air fryer, I'll use this just now to make some to, to make lamb chops. I'll put this in the air fryer, clean this bag, put it back in, and put it behind the basket because there's space in it. And to rearrange this one. This is just different squares of different squares. Oh, we are saying, we look at it. I'm sure this one is still Reynolds in the box. I told her nobody has time to make a separate amala for Reynolds. I wrote it there for her. Even she last time she came, I don't think she remembered that she had separate amala for her baby. Let me pass those bags. Oh, this one, but these are okay and stuff. Are they powder? Mm, I think this one's a powder. No, this one is yam flour. Oh, okay. This one is plantain flour. Mm. I don't, is this one flour? I don't think so. No, this is okay. Mm, this one too is okay. This is okay. That's they need to go in the fridge. They are going to go in that bottom part. No, we're going to freeze them. But well, we need to remove the one that she'll be using and put in that bottom. Maybe we'll... Everyone will stay in Ziploc anyway. So this is my basket for swallowing. My bathroom is so dark. My battery is low, but I'll probably just show you when I'm done or film with my phone to show you finished look. Because I'm too lazy to go upstairs to get a charger. Mountain for So much for. Mm -hmm. and there's plenty of space up here, there's just no baskets to use the space. All these leaves, they are going to need to go. 
But I think this is. I don't know if it's scent leaves or bitter leaves. And this is from a previous strip. Yes, Papa, how much? Where is that Julius Nino? Maybe I should divide some of these things. Anything else that's powder that's left. We have seen Friday message that they ran on so I didn't know. I had to get why I can't resemble Moses Bliss. Why this place? No, he himself. I just tried this malt drink. Nigerian things are made for our taste buds. That's all I can say. It's amazing. It is slightly malty, but it's very nice and creamy. How many calories? Almost the same, I'm guessing, but we'll eat it. Anyway, I'm almost done. I don't want to realize. I talk too much in my vlog, so I'm, I'll probably cut out many parts of this, but I'll show you the rest of what I'm doing when I'm done. So, everywhere is clear. This is just waiting to go in the air fryer, but I'm making, or oh, I was, I would have thought that I was. I would have thought that I was making corn in the air fryer. It's still ongoing. Okay, everywhere seems clear now. I haven't had my meal, so that's that. Ignore the dishes over here. My bathroom is here waiting to be washed. Looks like it's water. So, no, it's not water. It's still dirty. But yeah, everywhere looks clear now. And this is the place that took the bulk of the <laughs> stuff my mom brought. This place smells like it smells like uh, stockfish. There's a lot of stockfish there. So I'm going to what I usually do I put like cloves and cinnamon sticks. These are there. But this one my sister wants to use it, so this is not what I'm using. But I usually have that was in these bags. So I usually put it in here. It's always here to absorb the smell. But I don't know if it's still potent because these ones have been here for a while. Yes, yeah, it's almost gone. So I think I'll need new. The clothes still smell potent, but the cinnamon sticks gone. So I need to refresh it. But this is what will be bulk of it. And then here as well. Everything is stored in the back. So you can't see it anymore. But there's like Goldimon and Milo and things in there. I didn't even share it with up here. I don't know why. And then this also. This didn't really take much of stuff. It's mostly at the bottom there. So everything is working together for my good. I believe that. But yeah, I'm about to eat now. I'm trying to make corn in the air fryer. And I'm about to snooze off. So I decided to try Sainsbury shopping for the first time. And it's not too bad. It's not too expensive. But it's not too bad. It's difficult to compare all these things as a group. I can only compare it individually because I ended up buying random things that we relatively, I don't know, it's not bad, but this is everything I got for £55. This is like a pack of wipes and diaper, there's like oil and just random things. It wasn't bad compared to like my Asda prices, I'm not complaining. So now I'm just going to put them away. You see? And I found a lot of random snacks as well that they have that I don't usually find in Asda. So that was good. It's been a chaotic past few weeks. I don't even know where to start from, but I don't want to bore you too much. I discovered my piercing wasn't healing because I've been wearing gold jewelry. So now I'm wearing a random GL1. Chicken baby? Chicken baby? Head is that hat? Yeah, is that Shekhar's hat? Hat. She's wearing a hat. 
This girl is too clever for her own good. She's saying everything now. But anyway, I'm currently on call. I've been on call. I've been working for the past like 36 hours. I finished work Friday 5 p.m. I started my I started my own call at 5 p.m. And then I was supposed to finish at 9 a.m. today, Saturday. But, but still on call, but I'm here to do a quick unboxing. First, I got a couple of stuff from Boots. Obviously, from the beginning of this video, you see that my mom is here. So she's the reason why I ordered from Boots. Oh yeah, quick backstory. The reason why I shopped at Sainsbury is because my bank, Monzo, was doing like a cashback offer thing. So I'm getting some of my money back. That's why I did it. But yeah, this is what I got from Boots. So it's mostly my mom's multivitamins. She is obsessed with her multivitamins. So I got, I got the big packs. I don't have to think about it for another almost one year. Hopefully, she forgets to take it sometimes. That will last a year. And I also got shaving stick. This is the type of shaving stick I like to use. This big twin lady, very particular about the type of big because apparently there's different types. There's like a cultural one or something. I don't know what that one is. I don't do it. This is my body oil, the Aveno one. I just go one random one. And then I got a random just body spray, just random top up because I was already ordering. And then the other stuff I got, I think that this is what it is, it's from L'Occitane. So, from my bath vlog, you'd have seen, yeah it is, I love it's pretty. You'd have seen that I got their shower oil. And now my husband is obsessed with it. So, yeah. Ah, they said thank you for your order. Oh, yeah. They give, apparently, sample size stuff when you buy stuff from them. So you choose what you want. So I think this is what I picked. I can't remember why I picked it. But, yeah. And then they were doing, like, a promo where you get some random travel size stuff. And they put many extra things, though, that I didn't order. Because what's this relaxing pillow mist? Oh, that's so nice. And this is a hand cream. I'm using hand creams now because I realized it's helping my knuckles. My knuckles are dark from like not moisturizing apparently enough. So I didn't even order this. This is all oh, this is extra. That's really nice. Not complaining. So yeah, there's all of this sample size stuff. And then the actual things I got is just ref refills of the almond shower oil. Yeah, now my husband is obsessed with it. I don't know how to keep up this lifestyle. But hopefully, we'll survive. But yeah, that's all there is. I got two of them. I just don't know what I'm saying. I he got two of them. So I'm just going to refill this, take all of this up. I don't think anything else is happening in this vlog because I'm trying to make my vlog shorter so people don't get bored. But I don't think I'll be saying anything even if I show any more clips in this video. I didn't film it but my sister is away, she's gone to Canada. <laughs> So, good thing my mom is here. I'm surviving. Well, good thing my mom is here. I'm surviving. But yeah. Thank you for watching the video. See you in my next video. I don't know when next I'll be posting a video. I haven't posted a video now in almost two weeks. I don't have time to edit because I'm preparing for my exam. By the time you are seeing this video, I probably have done my exam because there are so many videos I've still not posted. By the time I post them and get to this one, the exam will most definitely have gone. But still pray for me. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.